Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you what's new with iOS 9.1 Beta 3. Apple released this today, and I thought I'd show you what's actually included. Now, on the surface, things don't really look too much different, but they've really only included two changes that you can see. There's some things in the background, too, that you can see. So let me show you that. If you go into the keyboard, there's some updates to the Shift and Delete key. So here's the Shift key. If I hit it here, double tap it. It's actually slightly elongated. It's going to be really hard to notice that. And then the Delete key is slightly different. That's really, really minor, just some design tweaks there. If we go back home, Apple has actually updated some wallpapers as well. So if I go into wallpaper, go into choose a new wallpaper. That took quite a while, so maybe that's a little bug. This is an iPhone 6S Plus too. So under stills, there's some new wallpapers. So you can see here's one. It's a little newer. They've also updated some of the planet wallpapers. So there's a wallpaper here. That one's a newer one. We also have a new one here. They're just slightly tweaked from before. And again, another new one here. There are a few behind the scenes changes, some bug fixes. Uh, nothing really too major. iOS 9.1 Beta 3 is only available to developers and those that are actually on the public beta. They can get that as well. As far as to the public, they also released 9.0.2. It's a minor update and it contains some fixes, such as an issue with the settings to turn on or off cellular usage. Also resolves an issue that prevented iMessage activation for some users. It resolves an issue for iCloud backups where they could be interrupted after starting manually. It also resolves issues where the screen could incorrectly rotate. And I've actually had that issue on here and it improves the stability of podcasts. There's also some security notes as well with the lock screen. Siri doesn't allow you to access things now through the lock screen if you have a locked device. So that's pretty much it. Again, that was just the beta. Someone did note that it's a little bit easier on the 6s and 6s plus to go into multitasking when you push on the side you do have to put a kind of a lot of force to get it to do that so if you push on the edge and push down on a 6s or 6s plus you'll get into multitasking maybe the force is reduced somewhat i'm not really sure but someone noted that so i thought i'd bring that up so that's pretty much it for ios 9.1 beta 3 let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe as always thanks for watching this is aaron I'll see you next time.